you know, we got my nose done. <gasps> Finally, our TV is off of the ground. You don't have nobody to take pictures of you and you think you feel cute? Take those pictures, girl. Okay. You know, I'm all ready to go to the movie. Take a picture. Take it's a, a video. I know, but. At the end, you know. Are you going? Hello, welcome to another vlog, you guys. This is your girl, Morgan Ashley. Um, over here, we talk a little bit about everything. Have some hauls, some vlogs, some luxury stuff, some luxury stuff, some vlogs, whatever I feel like talking about it. I'm gonna put it up. But it is like, um, so it's technically Monday, <laughs> um, February twelfth. At this point, yeah, February twelfth. It's twelve forty nine a.m. I just got in the house. Um, I probably put that footage up before. So we were at, me and Lauren went to Wine and Sage. They had to add a new event spot instead of Neighbors Houston. They moved it to this art studio. I forgot the name of it. It's like, it starts with the S. I'll try to put it up somewhere on the screen. Um, mixed reviews. But, um, but mixed review so i traded lauren i got her tickets for her birthday um the tickets went up in price mind you 45 dollars for it was um initially these events sell out um when they were at neighbors neighbors is quite smaller so it did not hold as many people and also um you didn't get anything with the ticket you just got like entrance so at this new spot this 45 dollars ticket um so i was under the impression that they would sell out just how they did at neighbors child they didn't sell out they sold out finally um tonight the night of the event um and they had to drop the ticket prices they had to do the 45 i think they did a 20 15 and 10 45 dollars um see this is why i don't support black people because with the 45 dollar ticket you were supposed to get you got a food voucher a goodie bag and i swear you're supposed to get something else i don't remember i believe it was a rose i don't remember but it was something me and lauren it started at eight me and lauren showed up at mm, 10 10 30 and mind you this was a super bowl sunday so yeah i'm like People are going to come late. By the time we got there, it was somewhat packed. People were starting to um, trickle, trickle out. Um, upon entrance, we did get our food voucher ticket. The goodie bag, y'all. Tell me why it was like five pieces of candy. I literally took the candy out of the big old brown paper bag. and just put it in my bag and threw the bag away. Like $45 is the most this ticket should have been $20 because of the Okay. Say your entrance was say 10, 15, another 15, $30 max to get the food voucher. Like, this is exactly why. But whatever. Um, I didn't realize that the tickets were such an upcharge of what they usually were at the other place because Lauren bought my ticket the first time I went when it was originally back at Neighbors. Um, yeah. So I'm doing a whole lot of babbling. I am a little nice. We bought a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon. I did not eat anything tonight or today. I literally had some leftover fries and a piece of chicken. I went to Xin Chow. I don't know. I'll try to put it up on the screen, the name of it. Um, the chef actually won like a Gordon Ramsay type of a master chef, whatever. Um, so I went there for the happy hour yesterday. It was okay. Um, then I went out tonight. So yeah. But I was cleaning up, so I didn't have a time time to eat. I actually filmed a YouTube video and put it up today, too, as well. So I had a lot going on. I know I'm talking fast. Like I said, I'm someone nice. It's technically Monday. I have work. But I wanted to come and introduce this vlog and also give a rundown on what you guys saw. Um, 
before this. You guys, what I wore tonight. So I wore my handy dandy black leather, faux leather blazer from Zara, very old. This, um, it's like a button up. This is all sheer, the entire shirt is sheer. And this, this is from Shop Icon. I got this, I wanna say at least like two years ago. Um, I got, and I finally can fit it, my arms with losing weight. These are Abercrombie jeans. Um, these I've, no, actually these are Express. I've had these for another two years and I finally got into them. And then for my bag, I wore my handy dandy um, Coach Wavy Dinky. I actually made a video up about this, reviewing this today. If you did not check it out, please make sure you go do so. Got my handy dandy McDonald's, I'm about to eat that. Yes, I'm about to eat McDonald's, okay. And then for my shoes, I just wore my Jeffrey Campbell um, silver shoes to be comfortable. Like I said, I was cleaning y'all. My mom is actually coming into town, so this will probably be a weekly vlog. She's actually going to be here. She's coming tomorrow, Tuesday. But Connecticut is supposed to have inclement weather, so we'll see. But she's here for two weeks, you guys, so pray for me, okay? Happy Monday. I feel like I look crazy. Um, I just got a house from work. I went to the office today. Should I show you guys what I wore? Cause I just look crazy. All my jeans are too big for me. So they just look stupid baggy. My JW Anderson clogs, I'm so sick of. They just, the left foot, dude, listen, listen closely. Well, it's not gonna do it, but they squeak. And it's getting on my nerves. I have a review of these on my page, actually on my YouTube page. Um, it's like one of the first videos I ever posted. But child, I don't know, it just squeaks now. And I feel like when I first got them, they were comfortable. I guess you guys wanna see what I'm talking about, right? So these, like when I walk, it just squeaks and it's so annoying. But this is what I wore. I don't ain't nothing special. This very old polo um, knit sweater. These two big old Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. Like y'all see, like, look at this. They're too big. But all my jeans, all my jeans are like this at this point. And I was like, I don't want to buy jeans, and then I lose more weight, and I and then they become too big. Cause that actually happened with me for a pair a pair of black trousers from Mango from Macy's online that I returned because they ended up, they became too big. And I didn't even wear them. Luckily I kept the tags on them and it was just shy of two days of not being able to turn them. But we returned those. Work was okay, sort of mid, nothing was going on. It was very quiet, but whatever. We just, never mind. Um, I got some stuff in. I just came from my mailbox. Now, also, when I came in last night, I sort of gave home updates, but I think I'm gonna just show y'all now while it's daytime. The light is in here, and also it was a little tipsy. But we got the ballet, and then we got some sneakers. So our girl Shateria mm -hmm. of the ballet, um, gorgeous, gorgeous girl, um, could dress her ass off. She dropped literally these tights. I swear they dropped this weekend or last week. And I already got them. So shout out to her. Where did they ship from? New York. She was not playing. It was a pre-order, but um, they came super fast. I don't know if I want to open this because I want to post it on Instagram, of course. But I love the fast shipping because there's another Instagram girl I ordered something from. Child, we had a month mark. And she keeps saying next week, next week. This is my problem with black business. Y'all just be dropping the ball. Oh wait, no. Oh. I'm like. Oh, hold up. I got a, fr oh, and I got a free lip gloss. <gasps> I saw, and I've been wanting, but I, I, didn't, I wasn't buying her lip gloss. I just bought Topical's lip gloss, which is amazing. Okay, well, I guess no packaging. It was a pre-order, so they just came like this. Um, okay. But she did give us a ballet lip treatment. Okay, that is super cute. 
I love that. Let's try it. Oh my God, these are super cute. Look how cute this is. Oh, her packaging is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. Let's try it. Mmm. It smells good. Okay, I like this, Shateria. Okay. And I might as well, because the packaging, so is just, I mean, this is different, but this is cute. But they're just black tights, y'all, and they say the ballet on the side. When she posted them, they are super sexy. Like, and then what she had them on, hopefully I can fit them. But I'm not gonna touch, try them right now because my nails, and I'm not trying to put a run in them. But super cute, the ballet. Like I just said, oh, I like the, um, the crotch part. Hopefully they're stretchy and they fit me, but I don't know if you guys can really see it too good. I don't think it's not gonna show. Maybe I'll and try to insert something of showing them off, or you guys can go on her Instagram page, I Shateria S H A T E R I A, and there's just an I in front of that, and then I think the ballet is the ballet, and I have her two, I have her button ups, the white one and the pink one from years from a couple years ago when she dropped those. I love her. I loved her from when she was dating Rick Ross. If y'all didn't know, she used to date Ross. She used to be her fashion, his fashion stylist years and for years, but they broke up. But that's my girl. Anyways, I'm babbling. But this is them. So super cute. And then, oh shit. Okay. And then our second package is some more sneakers. Um, just because my new balances, I use those at the stairm at the gym. So it's sort of looking like it. But I saw these and I love these. I thought these were super cute. Um, again, another gray neutral, perfect shoe, but I liked the metallic um, in these. I thought these were super, super, super cute. So I got these, let's see. Um, they were sold out everywhere. So I found them on finish line and I found them with a cold. I got them in a men's eight. This is a men's sneaker. So I got them in a men's eight, woman's nine and a half. Hopefully I can fit them because me and Nike sneakers, um, let me try to show you guys. There's a little, little space, but it's not bad. And I don't have any socks on, but you see, but my foot is all the way up there. I feel like, I don't know. No, I think I sort of want to get a half size down, but they feel comfortable. Let me see. But they're cute. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about them now. I think they're cute. Though, of course, not with these jeans, but with some leggings or just some better jeans. I don't know. I'm going to have to sit and marinate on these. But they... Thank you. They remind me of my... They remind me of some track shoes I had back in the day. If y'all didn't know... Your girl was thudded the eyes. I used to run track in high school and middle school. Definitely look like a pair of track shoes. Like, I remember them vaguely. They're black, red, gray from Nike. They look just like track shoes. That's so weird. Um, but yeah, so that's all the packages. I'm really not on a buy. I'm talking on a no buy for 2024. Of course, that's not gonna happen fully. Um, and mind you, I just purchased um, Kanye West's line, Yeezy.com, if you guys haven't already. It's like a few pieces. They're all like $20, but the shipping is $15. Um, I actually bought the wet t-shirt. The tank top, not t-shirt. I could try to show you guys if you guys aren't aware already. Where is it? Um, it came to $37.80 due to... $20 for the shirt, $15 for the shipping. Of course, Texas tax everything. $2.80 and so it came to $37.80. And there's three sizes, one, two, three. It's the Yeezy Mawala Wet Tank. Now, there's no size chart. They do it for the men pieces, but not the woman pieces. I'm a bit of two, 
because the one the models are extremely skinny and i'm hoping like it's see-through i'm hoping it stretches and this type of tank top i would need to wear without a bra so like i need it to be tight enough to hold my titties up so that's why i just went with the two and hopefully we just keep losing weight y'all but it's very basic it literally just says wet um it's probably cropped but that's it good afternoon my good people <laughs> i did not pick up the camera yesterday again after i said i was gonna check in back check in with you guys i figured showing y'all the home updates i literally i was exhausted i woke up exhausted i did not go to work so i'm working from home my mom's flight is still on so she was on her way to the airport and yeah we're working but i'm about to run out to go get the sandwich from einstein bagel y'all it tastes so so good i tried it yesterday when i was working in the office um it's like this something turkey sandwich on this asiago bagel oh my gosh I don't think I've ever tried Einstein bagels, but if you guys have one near you, run. It is so, so good. Like the spread that was on that, I don't even like spreads on bagels. The sandwich, it was so good. I'm hoping it tastes the same because I'm really about to drive all the way over there, basically near my office, Dingo, just to get that sandwich. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't have nothing special on, so it's no point of showing y'all what I got on. I got on some sweats um but i guess let me show y'all my house is whatever we know that the house is never in real life the house is never 1000 put together it's just stuff around but as far as the home update so let's start here so we did we hung this mirror ourselves shout out to me um i use monkey hooks I don't think y'all gonna be able to see them, but it took forever to find it to go all in the wall. So that's what this sorta is. It was me covering up the holes that I created. I think this was all metal from the window. So I think that's finally why I decided to go in, but you can get them at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, really easy. They have different sizes for different weights, but it's been up child, for two months now, it ain't fall. So monkey hooks, are very um, easy to install and hang up mirrors yourself. Um, as far as the kitchen, nothing on the counter is new. We do have a runner finally. This is from Ruggable. I had Ruggable in New Jersey. I love it because literally you can just take the lining off and throw this in the washing machine. Y'all know cooking, y'all see. I actually need to wash this from cooking pasta. I hope that's not no stain and it really does come out. But you can just throw that in the washer. One, two, three. I get the padded version. There's one. I think they have a cheaper version of just like not um, this thickness as being extra cushioned. But I had the cushion one in New Jersey. And I feel like it is very comfortable when you're actually standing here and having to stand at the stove or stand here doing dishes. Um, compared to the non-cushion one. I Again, I don't know what that feels like. But the cushion one feels good. So that's why... I just get this. This is from the Barbie line, actually, y'all. But I love this chevron print, this black and this cream. I love it. Like I said, no home updates. This bin is still here. We need to move this. Um, you might have seen this vlogs and vlogs ago, but I bought these um, a while ago from Home Goods. Just never washed them to hang them. I just got these cute colors. I thought they were cute. I saw these. Um, this is a new plant. I actually got this from Walmart, y'all. Surprisingly. Um, and it wasn't, I think it was like $25. But it's flourishing there. Um, the living room has the most updates. So starting here, we do have a planter. This gold planter came from Tarjay. And I actually got this on Super Sale because it was wrapped up in cardboard. And I could not find the barcode. The lady at the register could not find the barcode. We looked online. She couldn't find this exact one. I think because it was brand spanking new, it wasn't up yet. So she found similar ones. And she gave me the cheaper similar one, which was like $18, $20, child. This eventually popped up online. I looked. This is this was $50, child. And I got it for like $18, $20. Check me out. This planter came from Home Goods. I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but whatever um my beautiful i'm trying to black out the sun but my beautiful beautiful um 
curtains, which is silk, y'all. They are silk. These came from CB2. They're this beautiful green color, gray, white, cream, tan. All the colors I want to incorporate, they're in there. Um, funny story, they were on sale um, for like 120 between like $120, $140. I'm reading is fundamental. I didn't realize, I forgot what made me, I'm trying to, the sun y'all. I'm tr I went back and I was like, wait, the thing said one panel. So y'all, one of these was like on sale, one on sale for $120 to $40. I had to go back and buy another one because I would have just gotten this. <laughs> but I love these. This is the green. I want to accent chair in here to be this color green. I just haven't found one yet. Um, the rod came from Target, actually, just a silver rod. Again, there's holes that I had to patch up because I eventually had to move it up. They did not have the 110 available lengthwise, so this is a 96, I believe. So it's a little short. It's not too bad, um, but that's why I originally knew it was, a, it was touching the ground, but also I know to elevate a room, you're supposed to move the rod up or closer to the ceiling. So that's what I did, and I just was like, whatever. It's going to be a little short. I plan on putting... Um, like this side is hidden from the couch and I plan on putting like a little green like stool here possibly just like you know those little cushion things so it can hide it from you know not touching the ground. Don't mind that that's clean washing here. I think you guys seen all this that gold thing is from Target nothing new here. But finally, our TV is off of the ground, you guys. It's finally off of the ground. Our beautiful media council came from Crates and Barrow. If you guys follow me on Instagram, um, at I'm Morgan Ashley, you know I posted this because they had a banger sale. Um, this thing was, this is originally a $3,000 piece, y'all. This is like solid wood. Um, mixed um, material. This is granite countertop, solid wood. I forgot the type of wood. Um, it comes with doors on each side with shelving. And also this is metal. And I loved, love the different me um, mixture of materials and textures and the color was perfect. It was, I felt like it was a little bit too big, but I was like, whatever. I don't plan on staying in this space after my lease is up. So and this is a piece that you can have forever. Um, and I can take this from, I will take this piece wherever I go at this point. That's how I like to buy my pieces. Like every piece in here, I can see myself keeping forever and moving into a guest room or moving it to, you know, my base, a finished basement, whatever. But I love this, you guys. Like I said, this was a $3,000 piece. I originally, it was originally marked down to basically like, a thousand? No, nine. It was nine forty nine, y'all. It was nine forty nine when I first bought it, um, and then less than a month later, they marked it down additionally, all the way down to like, damn, I don't remember. It was either six fifty or seven fifty. I was like, no way, Crate and Barrel is going to give me a price adjustment. Y'all, they did. They gave me a price adjustment, so they credited uh, me two hundred and fifty dollars. So, what? I don't care what nobody say. I got this for a steal, y'all. And I swear, once I posted on Instagram, I know I, I didn't make it sell out. But it was gone by the end of the day. I'm telling y'all, this was a piece. Okay? Um. Okay. My phone. But the decor on this, my wonderful cousin Brenda bought me this. It's a speaker. Oh, I think it might be dead. Power on. No, it's not. Okay. So, and it lights up and changes different colors. This is cute. So, this is what I put on at night when I'm feeling moody. You know, when I want to have a glass of wine just to so enjoy myself and my company. I tried to hook it up to my TV because it has like a output for like that, you know, the old headphone output where you could plug it in here. And my TV actually has that outlet, but I couldn't get it to work on the TV. So, yeah. And then the Bluetooth on the TV. Did I try Bluetooth? I don't remember but i couldn't figure it out um and my tv is actually very loud as well so whatever um this actually came from cb2 as well i bought this when i initially bought the one panel first when it was on sale um this cute piece came from home goods this actually was these look really good and home goods flowers are usually very expensive i and i still got the price tag on it <laughs> 
I actually only paid $19.99 for it. This is the brand if you are curious because these are really good faux flowers. Spring gathering seasonal decor. Okay, guess whatever. But these are really cute. This came from uh, Home Goods. And then also, my cousin Brenda, thank you. She bought me a Alexa. I originally had Alexa up here. Oh, here she go. I originally had Alexa up here, but I didn't. The wire is what's killing me. So that's why I just put it down there. I didn't like the wire like that. So that's why I just hid it behind, behind the TV and behind behind I don't think y'all can even see it behind that so you don't see the wire and Alexa don't really need to be seen anyway but that is that I haven't really put too much stuff in here I finally took some of my books that I had in my closet my coat closet um, out of that front so I can free up and use the top space um I don't really get none in here content stuff a lighter of some, a thing of faux nails because I took off my nails trying to save money child nothing and just more storage of stuff um but yeah that's like the major house update was finally getting our tv off the damn floor y'all and we did it and it's cute and I think it's coming together so I actually have found a rug that I love but they did not have the size that I wanted it was black and white or like cream and white I don't know but my vision is to have like a cream or black and white um, rug and then I want a green accent chair to go here but again I don't want it to feel too crowded just because my space is limited but I don't know I need to bring the green in somewhere so that's why I'm thinking the green chair but if we don't do the chair like I said I'll just do the green stool thingy there because people can sit there there and there my mom was like well if you have people over I'm like chow I don't have that many people over and I just feel like if I put a chair can't do two she's like you need to if i put a chair here it's gonna get crowded real fast and i don't want that um so i don't know we'll see i want to do some accent pillows i want to do a green little velvet ball and then an actual like a cream tan and uh black uh, another accent pillow just to bring in all of the accents of the black and the tans and the greens and whatever um, so yeah, that's the major house update to you guys, but we're slowly coming together again. Don't mind the clothes on the couch. I'll come back and show you guys when it's not there, but that's our little space. Our little home is coming together. Um, here, ciao. Okay, wait. So in the bedroom, I finally got a duvet. See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to the bedroom when it's a little bit more put together and I got dirty clothes on the floor. <gasps> Excuse me. And my bed is made up. But let's run to Einstein Bagel because I have a meeting at 1 o'clock. So, it's totally eighteen. Okay, y'all. I, I couldn't wait. So I'm trying to eat it on the way home. But this is the sandwich. This is the Asiago um, bagel. You see this? that white stuff is their spread, lettuce, the turkey, tomato. And yeah, this is so good. So if you guys have a Einstein Brothers bagels near you, try this. If you haven't, the Tasty Turkey, that's what it's called. It is delicious. I get the bagel double toasted. Best thing I ever had, if ever. Because these Houston food places been hit or miss, okay, y'all? But so good. But okay. Your favorite person is back in Texas, you guys. Aggie Maggie is back. Who are you talking about? Mm, she thinks she's cute. Mm. I'm looking look. I got out too mm -hmm. And I just look like a bum. But we picked up the lady from the airport. Then we went to my pizza. I was about to cut somebody out in Target because I had to go to Target. Of course, she needs her juice. And then also, <coughs> girl! Morgan, don't start. And then bought this too but the lady park it y'all the line was crazy at 9 45 at night but i forgot it's around valentine's day so people in there probably doing last minute shopping but the self-checkout line was ridiculous it was at first it was moving very slow but finally it started to move fast and how did it open up my store again and this white girl she was just standing there on her phone mind you there was a self-checkout line open 
looked at it for 10 seconds she's on her phone i'm like excuse me this is open she walks walks up but she looks back like this like <gasps> i'm like you're just standing there i'm like what are you, you're just standing there girl and then little asian girl between us wasn't gonna say nothing you're just standing here on your phone girl goodbye so she luckily didn't get cussed up but then we went to my pizza and and she still didn't open up my soda is this mine oh i guess it looks different when they're cooked but this is my pizza i can't tell y'all what is on it hopefully it's good but okay i just wanted to check in and my stomach is killing me like it's like i got cramps but this is not a okay bye then a Mexican Coke. Everybody knows, if you know, you know, Mexican Cokes taste better than American Cokes in a glass mm -hmm. bottle. You're gross. Mexican, this is real, it doesn't taste like cream, it tastes like sugar. Well, nobody told you to get that. I like cream soda. She don't know what she likes. It literally says cream cane sugar, <laughs> like, child. Reading is fundamental, kids. Look at the um wings. Hey you guys. My face is probably crusty, but I just came home from my workout. I went to kickboxing. Maybe I'll insert clips. Today he had us using the bricks, y'all. I don't do bricks. My knees stepping up. I don't like that. But whatever. We're home. I don't think I picked up the camera. I didn't pick the camera up all today. I went to work. I went to the office. My mommy cooked me dinner on Valentine's Day. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Lover's Day. You see my mommy. Um, but she made me. Child. She's obsessed with Instagram chefs. I didn't cook nothing from that book. Oh, not yet. But she bought this, y'all. Y'all know all these people on Instagram. I'm sure y'all do. Because if you have not seen any of their videos, then who are you? Oh, they signed it. That's cute. But, I mean, this free promotion, but no. She bought that, but supposedly this is not made. But she made me some green beans. Those look good. What's the, what did you make? The sauce? What's, what's in it? This is the broth, like Maybe some powder. This is um Zatarans, red beans and rice. And then she made me, y'all, I had these Trader Joe winglets in my freezer for months. Oh, they look good. How you make this? I baked them in the oven, like I said, and they came out crispy. And then I made that sauce mm. with the um, hot sauce and the uh, fruit column and just stirred it up in here. Mm, that look good. I put it in the refrigerator to cool it off. Okay. All I needed was that's not even the right hot sauce mix. I put a little sriracha in it. Because it's the one for wings and that's just hot sauce. Well, my dinner looks good. I'll pick you guys up when I taste it. But I need to wash my hands. But nothing went on today. Work, we went to Los... We actually took a Valentine's Day lunch and went to Los Tios. It was really good. And their lunch specials are good. $10, $9.95 for two items of like pick a taco or soup or whatever but then you get also get the rice and a choice of beans for ten dollars and it was a good serving i will go back there i will go back there that, and then my tacos was banging but this was our gym fit i haven't really worked out i haven't worked out i don't think since friday or saturday and i need to stop taking these breaks now now that my fan master challenges because i was out of it and this summer we need to be fine fine hello so we have our plate. Don't mind the rice. She burnt the bottom, but it still tastes fine. But it all tastes good. I haven't tasted the wings yet. Well, let's see. It's good. She did a great job. I did her face, y'all. She look cute. Hey. <laughs> Okay. Oh,
Nobody to take pictures of you and you think you feel cute? Take those pictures, girl, okay? The camera probably flopping everywhere. You guys are still on my tripod. My remote control broke. I dropped it, it shattered. You guys can see me, I felt very cute. I'm going back to my Estee Lauder um, foundation. That shit is the truth. We're in it the last couple times I've been out, y'all. Estee Lauder is that girl. We're back in the house. Outfit details, fancy, su fancy success fur. This is like two years old. A firm, I think, a firm sheer turtleneck, sheer old blue skinny jeans. I have no idea where they're from. We wore our Macy's boots finally, and we wore our stalled, stalled bad. Super cute, right? Super sale. Got this. I got this when I moved here, but I have never worn it. It's like a green brown i don't know but that was the outfit phil and derrick's was lovely um the live band was good my mother was like we should come here back next saturday but i want to try the person's name rhythm room um but i need to try to figure out how to make a reservation the food was amazing at phil and derrick's service was good for me um I got three drinks uh, comped, so I just paid for our appetizer and our entree. Um, wasn't fast. People started to leave at like 9.30, I feel like, though. It got rather empty really fast. Our reservation was at 9, and the band starts playing at 8, so I'm assuming people go there for 8, say like an hour, hour and a half, and then they leave. But I can't say between 9 and 9.30, the band was on a break, so I'm assuming they probably paid from 8 to 9 30 and then they played from like 9 30 all the way up until 11. so yeah but phil and derrick's was good to park you have to pay ten dollars in order to park in the um spaces in front of like the little strip mall that the phil and derrick's is in which is annoying but whatever i feel like it's better than parking your car on the street and yeah the food and drinks i don't know how much the drinks cost the food i feel like it's not too expensive which you can expect from a black owned business um there's two sides i would definitely say the first door we walked in was i guess just the bar part so i'm like there was no um like not waitress what like a hostess stand so when we walked in i just people looking at me like i'm stupid but i mean it's probably because i'm in this big ass fur and i'm cute but to just look in so i walked straight to the back walked to the board and then I asked them I'm like if you have a reservation where do you go she was like oh try the door next door so the door next door if you're looking at the building the one furthest to the right is for the restaurant the one closest if you're looking at the building on the left is for the bar area so I guess it's probably like first come first serve but the restaurant we did make a reservation for nine o'clock there was a table open um when we finally got someone to sit us so I don't know if it just worked out like that or that they really go on reservations um and the service was pretty quick after that well it wasn't it wasn't that bad but yeah that was an eye at phil and derrick's i say out of a 10 i give it a i give it a solid 9.1 i had a great she said a 9.9 .9. i i thought it was good i would go back it, okay. I'm going back, but the service was in on 9.1. No, I'm saying, I'm saying like overall. It still wasn't on 9.1. So what do you give it out of a 10? A 7? 7? 7.5. My mom says a 7.5, so. It wasn't on 9.1, that's for sure. Okay. See you guys.
Tomorrow is Sunday. No plans. Bye. Hola, hola, hola. Days later. It is now Wednesday. What? February 22nd. Haven't done anything. This is February 21st. February 21st. Haven't done anything. Been in the house since really. The last time you guys saw us on Saturday when we went out to Phil and Derek's. But we're finally about to get out the house today. We're about to head to Willowbrook Mall. I have some returns. She needs to look in Macy's because I bought her Christmas gift and she didn't want it. So she got the um, gift card for Macy's and to get some clothes. I have bought her Uggs. Um, I'm returning sneakers, shoes, and yeah. And also we're going to Willowbrook Mall because we need to go to In-N-Out. There's an In-N-Out burger all the way near there. So we can finally try the Flying Dutchman. This is my outfit for the day. Old, it's 80 degrees, y'all. Finally, is um, this shirt is just a padded um t shirt. This is super old from HM. This skirt I got when I first moved here from Zara, it has pockets. We love pockets, it's swooshy. Um, I'm wearing my coach wavy dinky, I'm wearing my Adidas, Adidas, my Adidas. Um, Sambas that I have that are black and this cream which is basically the same color of the shirt just super cute chill comfortable but wanted to not wear leggings so that's what she has on what leggings oh and my Loewe sunglasses and yeah we're ready to go so we'll see Huh. Okay. I'm wearing Nike sneakers, Nike leggings, Nike jacket, and I'm wearing this long shirt because I want to cover up my flat ass. <laughs> Sorry, but I've never known a flat ass until now. And my Gucci glasses, and I'm all ready to go to the mall. <laughs> Delete it. No, it's going up. But okay. We've arrived at our first stop. In and out. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. What did you get that for? She said she's gonna add it to this. Make it flavorful. It's flavorful. She once lived in Greenwich, Connecticut. Oh. But she here in Texas just like me because of her kids. It's good, isn't it? I never even heard of in and out. Now we're at our second stop, which is Willowbrook Mall at Macy's. Why are you taking that? Um, where's this stuff going back to? One is going back to Macy's, and one is going back to a shoe sneaker store. Why is she in my business? Is this sneaker store here? They have a JD Sports. I'm not I walking the whole mall. So, 
her and her damn king. Cup of um, the little hot dogs, the mini hot dogs. You want the eight count or sixteen? Eight. Eight. Okay. Any sauces? I'm sorry. You want any sauces? Um. What's? I have, I have mustard, honey mustard, pizza sauce, cheddar cheese. Can um, I have a cheddar cheese? Cheddar cheese. Yes. We have anything else? No, that's it. Why did you stop like that? Because I wanted to pick it up. Look at this. If that was only in your color, huh? It's too big. You only want it one. It's still too big. It takes up too much space. Oh, look at this green. This is the green. No, not for $400. What do you think you're gonna pay for? The chair will be $500. Huh? The chair will be $500. I didn't understand what you the said. The chair is gonna be $500. Why? Because of me to get this delivered to my house is probably gonna be. You probably can get to put that in your car, you think? Mm mm. Look at the tan one over there. Oh, and it's swivels. Oh no, you need to get that. This is literally, let me make sure my glasses. This is literally the green. You know what you put in your back seat down? You don't think you can get that in there? No, because it's still, it's gonna be too tall. So you guys, more than likely, we're getting one of these for our house. As you can tell, the green goes perfect with our, it goes perfect with our, um, our, um, curtains. The green is the perfect green that I want it. And I feel like it's not too big. Because y'all know my space is very limited. But I need a chair. This is super cute. This is it. Now we're in Home Depot. She's trying to force a plant down my throat. I have to buy a ladder again. Well, she's buying this. Because I need it. And in order to compromise, we can do this little lucky bamboo, which will go on my island. Now we're off to get some potting soil so she can repot my plant. I think I do have this. Trying to figure out why would I pay $250 for a world out of Home Depot? Well, there's cheaper ones right there. Do I look like a cheap girl? I ain't got nothing I want. <laughs> nothing that I want. In 900 feet, use the left two lanes to stay to the left. Lump one. What are you gonna do with the crab meat? Put it in the um. I want to make um egg rolls. Egg rolls. Now we're at HEB. Oh, I think I told you that. Okay, we're back home. As you guys can see, I had to cover up my hair because you don't need to see that. But let's do a quick haul. You gotta put the phone on the porch. Oh, I came from that. <clears throat> but I actually am gonna run to Home Goods <coughs> back out. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna run to Home Goods back um, in like an hour because they close at what 9 30. So, yeah, in like an hour when the traffic still a lot of cars and it's 7 14, y'all. But I wanted to show you guys what we got from HEB. So, I put most of that stuff away. She 
she she didn't but i got you guys saw this from home goods that's her mug she picked up these everything nice gummy peach rings which she likes you guys saw my lucky bamboo um from heb we got this louisiana garlic butter sauce this louisiana remoulade sauce home depot got some bouncy paper towel did you just push me yeah because i didn't want you to elbow me and then she bought me a three-step ladder so mind you i remember you got well no i don't think i knew but i had bought one of these when i was putting in my curtains and i returned it because it was fifty dollars and Home Depot, luckily it was on it's marked it was marked forty nine, but it rang up as thirty nine. No, it was marked for forty nine ninety nine, fifty dollars. Like and you got it for thirty nine ninety nine. I just said that you guys. Keep the receipt. Just said that you guys. So that we got that. Some more potty mix because she's gonna repot all my plants. But I, as soon as she picked this up, I was like, I think I already have this at home. What did she say? Just get it, just get it. And we checked. I have some. I knew I had some. We should buy the last time she was here. Um, where are my sunglasses? What? The shot glasses. Oh, I was going to say your sunglasses. I'll say sunglasses. I have no idea. Um, Cayman Jack Margaritas. She likes to make her drinks with that. But that's good on its own if you guys didn't have it. And then she got some lump crab meat. So she plans on making egg rolls. I got some premium Maryland style crab cakes. Love that for us. For you. And then HEB's um, garlic parmesan butter dolly pops. Just butter. Frozen butter little thingies. So let's keep refrigerated, but I'm gonna try to put those in the freezer. And my food is over here on the table. Sunrise peppers, because she said, because I don't have peppers in my house. Greens, onions, scallions. Frozen egg roll, spring roll wrappers, because this is what she's doing, a lump crab meat with and shrimp. And then she needed a shot glass and I had Oh, a, I know what I did and get the peanut oil. And then we have shot glasses. She spent $4 on each of these child and HB, but I didn't care. I was like, well, can you buy two? Child. And that was it. No, my food over there that, that contained the cooked meal. Okay. Well, you want, you want me to show your meal? Well, you showed everything else. Ciao. Then, oh, I'm um, HEB's Bakery Naturally Flavored Butter Tortilla. So I picked these up to try these because she has leftover, like, a uh, steak that I'm just going to use with cheese and make a taco with pico. And this is her dinner tonight. I know I've had this um, from HEB. They're shrimp lo mein noodle bowl. These are always good. I just wish they'd put more shrimp in it of course um and then oh i had bought tuna mooks um mexican four cheese for my tacos um this container of watermelon and then some prosecco rose my fave um so and then Yesterday we had order from this Louisiana Cajun kitchen. I forgot what it was called, Bordeaux, but it was really good. Um, probably ordering food out here is very hit or miss. Y'all would think Texas everywhere is good. It's not, um, but they were good. Uh, she got a Cajun pasta. I can maybe show you guys. She had got Cajun pasta. And it had like sausage, chicken, and I think crawfish in here and shrimp too. I don't remember. But that was the Cajun pasta. I got just fried shrimp and fish. Because I'm going to buy one get one for And it came with fries, but I didn't eat it. I don't eat fries like that. And then I had got an order of bouillon balls. See, this is a little... Oh, no, it didn't even come with fries. It was just the shrimp and the fish. But it was good. And then... Oh, red beans and rice. I got... And then it had bouillon balls and hush puppies. And this was a little sauce for the bouillon balls, I think. It was really good. We're at, a, we're at our second home goods of the day. We're trying to see if my green chairs are here. Because I would prefer if they were closer to my house than 
all the way out and tumble. So we found the chairs here at the Home Good, way closer to my house. So I'm going to buy this one. I picked, reserved a Home Depot cargo van to pick it up because this will not fit in my car. Then I'm just gonna have to drive all the way out to Tumble and return the other one because you have to return it at the store. Oh, exciting. Good morning. Look at my bag. I feel like they're just getting worse and worse and worse. Oh, excuse all the noise. It's what, basically 10 a.m. I'm headed to Home Depot to pick up this like cargo van so I can go to Home Goods and pick up the chair. Um, yeah. Hopefully it's easy to dry. It's not really that big. Home Depot is packed this morning. I'm like trying to find out where to park because I need to leave my car here. You know Houston ain't safe. <laughs> but this should be interesting. It's very gloomy today because I was potentially going to go to Galveston today. Um, but I don't want to go to Galveston and it's gloomy. I want to go when the sun is out. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay, you guys, this is our chariot for the next hour. This is gonna be interesting. And my ass. Let's see. Okay, this is so tall. I really don't need anything this big. <laughs> I got that one. This is so big. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Why is this so big? <sighs> okay, you guys. Concentrate and drive this thing. I'm nervous. No lie, I'm having fun whipping this van. I'm a driver, so I can pretty much drive anything. But this thing is really not hard to um, maneuver at all. But I'm almost at my house. And I'm just hoping, and it's already 11 o'clock, y'all. I gotta return this damn thing by in 22 minutes. Like, I'm hoping the cart, the little cart my apartment complex has, like, to haul larger things is available because if not i'm trying to think in my head how am i going to how am i going to do this hope we don't think positive thoughts it's going to be available and we won't have any issues so i can bring this up and hopefully i like it because i don't have enough time to return at this point because somehow some way if you needed it for you know four hours is 96 dollars so i'm assuming if i brought it back later when I just did two hours, it might go to 50. I don't know, but I'd rather pay the $19. I don't know, look at the man on his spike, the door dash, how cute. But okay, I'll show y'all it in the trunk. I didn't show y'all when they was loading it. So, well, I couldn't show y'all when I was unloading it from my car, but we did it. We brought it up, found the cart, and yeah, we did, we did. And I got 12 minutes, 10 minutes to return this damn truck. It's a struggle. Cause this thing is literally on its last leg. Finally back home, returned the truck. They didn't charge me extra. Um, Going up. They didn't charge me extra. I could not forgo the gas. It kept stopping, but whatever. Went back to Home Depot to return it. 
exchanged this three-step ladder, got a hoe, ho ho, so my mom can repot my plant. Yeah, I did a lot today, child. It's not even noon. I want to, sh want to show you my chair. There it is, super cute. So back at the home goods that I had to return the chair. We came to in and out all over again. Now we're at the drive-through with this long, long, long line. We came here yesterday at what? Two, three o'clock? Two? No. I feel like it was around this time. It was not this busy. I guess people got paid today, boy. Thursday. Dutchman part two. Is it just as good, but to this day, when we asked the lady who took our order in the drive through can we have them like this? She was like, they should always come like that. We get it. They were not like that. I asked them, well, can you put in a parking for people? She was like, okay. At the window picking up the food. Then she comes back and said, we can't do that, ma'am. I'm like, well, can you give me just give me this? And they gave it, so you have to do it yourself. I don't know how you expect to eat somebody, to give somebody a burger. Just, I like, so stupid. But, she was like, for future restaurant, rough and ordering them, they're supposed to say whole grilled onions. So it would come like, with the onions like the burger bun. And if you're a greedy individual like me, in and out burgers are very, very thin. As y'all can see, this looks like it's supposed to be one burger. That's two burgers. It's double, it's double meat and double cheese. So patty, cheese, patty, cheese. But it's so thin. So this is not very filling for me. It is for me. But, and I was gonna actually order another one. I'm like, well, can y'all just do four? And she was like, well, we can, you can just order you know, another one put it together, but I didn't want to have to do that. And it's already messy, so if it's already not, no. But if you're a greedy individual like me, it's not that filling. Um, that's so good. And I can say, in and out is very affordable. More affordable than McDonald's. Because two Flying Dutchmen and a large soda is only $13. I feel like... mcdonald's for a meal by itself a full meal like with a burger a double meat burger what double what, what does mcdonald's have like a quarter pounder with cheese i don't know you're gonna pay at least ten dollars with one burger and a fry and yesterday we came with a fry we had a fry with cheese and it was additional like say three dollars or four dollars so I say In-N-Out is affordable. With the meat, you could tell it's more, of course, natural and fresh than McDonald's, but it's just not as filling because the burgers, like a real <laughs> burger, smash burger. I love the onions. <laughs> she loves onions. But okay, I'm gonna finish this, finish this and head back downtown. Okay, you guys, this is the chair. Don't mind the table. We have a guest who just created a mess. This is the chair, but it's 100% 360 swivel. See the beautiful green velvet, and it goes perfect with our oh, white washing, but with our curtains. Now I just need to find an area rug like this color. I think it's like a off-white champagne color. I don't know, but I think that's the color rug I need. White, off-white, not white, off-white. No, so we're back in the house. I got my nails and my toes done after months. My mom did my plant she signed up the leaves and potted them so that looks a lot better this one oh i gotta get a well she did that one too and then i bought this new planter from tarjay today super cute 30 dollars and yeah um that's pretty much for the night you guys 
she's going to make egg rolls with shrimp crab meat you guys saw when we went to the grocery store yesterday and i'll probably pick up the camera when she does that because i'm not doing that hours later she made the egg rolls remember shrimp crab meat green onions i think an onion an egg i don't know but i tasted one and this tastes really good and she topped it off with some of the in and out sauce but that's not tasty. and then we have this too it's frying peanuts oil but it tastes really good good job gwen oh thank you i tried i'm in a bed i'm tired i have a headache as always you wash my hair but i wanted to show you guys the egg rolls were made when i get another bite i'll show you the inside and here is some cut inside delicioso happy friday I ain't been doing nothing over here I haven't picked up the camera all day washed my hair deep conditioned it just glowed i dried it now i'm about to um braid it up blow dry the best i could joe it feels still feels damp but whatever wash some wigs we have dinner tonight at eddie b's at 8 30 so it's 4 49 so gotta put a pep in my step this lady i gave her pampered her i shaped her hair all off i plucked her chin hairs i gave her a mask took her mustache off and I know she's going to do her makeup too. And I washed her wig. So. And I'm watching NCIS. NCIS, if you didn't know, that's one of my favorite shows. I am about to braid it up between the bathroom and this chair. Because if you know me, I can't stand to braid here. I have to part in the bathroom and sit down to braid the braid. But yeah, I just wanted to come check in and say hello. I think I have a looker. I feel like I had a booger this entire time. I felt like I seen it and I did. But I look crazy. But we know me. I really don't care. And also, I've been using some new products. Let me show you guys. So for like shampoo clarifying, I've been using the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. All, some, all stuff from Target. I'll have them linked below. But I really enjoyed this. And then I use for conditioner, TJN, the Triple Moisture Replenishing Conditioner. I love this stuff. Too. Then for my deep conditioner, I've been using TGIN's TGIN's Honey Miracle Hair Mask. Really love this, and I really love this because I'm the type of girl who usually gets these type of deep conditioners in these jars, and this gone by like two uses. But I've gotten like four uses out of this. It's like a thick, creamy consistency, and it coats my hair really well without me having to use like a lot. So I enjoy this because. I think those three things from Target when I bought them were like only fifty dollars because we know they're each probably like fifteen dollars. Um, and yeah, that is what I use on my hair these days. And for my leave-in, I'm still using Shea Moisture's Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Multi Action Leave-in. This stuff is really really good. Um, once they sold to what Unilever, I forgot whenever, but this is one of the products they rarely change, and I know this from my previous natural hair um dresser in new jersey uh glenn she's the one that told me about this and it's true the products the ingredients in this is still really good compared to like their other products that they changed so pick this up if you have not tried it um and yeah let me braid my hair and i'll talk to you guys probably when <laughs> Okay. Take a picture. It's a video. I know, but at the end, you know. Oh, you, you want to do it right now? You know where I can use that picture to. Oh yeah, that's how I take my um, thumbnail for my YouTube video. Like um, a video, but you gotta hold still. And then I just screenshot it and save it. Do you think that it. came out good? Um, you can't. Do it by yourself. <laughs> it's too dark. I can get a photo. You'll get a photo and it'll be good. Ciao. It's 10 o'clock. 
we just made some restaurant because I'm messing with y'all. Aggravating ass. No, I'm not Grandma. aggravating you. I'm not going. I'm not going. You're not rushing me. Child, first was, first thing was, I didn't do her makeup good. Then she came to the bathroom. Oh, you did do it good. And then, um, oh, her earring, aka my, my earring. Um, I wouldn't help her put it on. So, I'm not going. You don't ever help me. So, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so that was another thing. And then, because I ignored her at this point. Let me finish getting dressed. Child. And then, I bet she went back in the bathroom and tried to put the earring on herself after like 20 minutes of her little fit. She's a September Libra. I'm an October Libra. I don't think October Libra is back like that. But, child. She showed me how But we're now at Eddie's. Um, I don't know. They closed online at 10 o'clock, but the kitchen was still open. With the jazz. I'm sure I'm coming on. I don't know. We were able to order. Um, yeah. I hope you guys will see my outfit after. Real easy. This is an old, old dress. This is my first time wearing this pop tag, and this dress is legit, probably like five years old. Um, I finally can wear my sandals because I got my toes done. I think I showed y'all my nails yesterday. What are you scrolling for? Huh? What did you say? What are you scrolling for? I'm just looking at the. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? And then she went up the Oh, and then also, I think it had a lot to do with it. She was drinking, so that's why she's not getting drink tonight. But do we look like twins? We look like, I just seen on TikTok, it was like, I forgot what it was, it was like, you hold a baby for something, or your copycat. Look at the camera, am I, am I your copycat? This is a sparkling rosé. I'll show you when the food gets here because it's not much to chat about. I told y'all the tea. Our first course, calamari. This is delicious. I hope it's good because we don't even know if it's good. You ain't do this pretty at all, girl. <laughs> I'm back inside. As y'all saw, that's how I be taking photos in my house. Or for myself. Me and my tripod. Shut it up. Um, with my little clippy. And that's how we gotta get this content. Cause she wasn't gonna take it. She slumped. But. We're gonna need to take a look I didn't really like any of the photos. Um, this type of dress is not made for my body type. It just made me look bigger. Makes me look bigger than what I am at this point. I look like I lose no weight. But, like I said, this dress is really, really old Zara. Um, if you can see, it's just really short. Um, earrings, I had vintage Chanel earrings. I had this vintage um, Chanel necklace on how cool is it it has a mirror on the back side and i have my g gold um g von t rossi sandals and i wore my vintage chanel bag um and that was a fit just black and gold i'll just take this makeup off and how we go to bed I feel like I like my makeup here, but in the photos it's coming up a little bit too light. I don't know. But tonight was good. Eddie V's was good. Food was really good. Tomorrow, I want to drive to Galveston. But if it's like overcast, like cloudy, I don't want to go. I want to go when it's sunny. Um, 
yesterday. Actually, today, yesterday was sunny. I think it was, I don't remember if it was overcast, but today was not gonna happen. Um, but hopefully tomorrow, or Sunday, she leaves Tuesday, so we still have time, but I go back to work on Monday. So yeah. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I'm just gonna be babbling at this time. I'm going to bed. I need to finish uh, Reese Tessa's, Tessa Reese's TikTok, uh, the 52 parts. I started it last night, I'm on part like five. Child. and that was like what an hour each five 50 minutes yeah and i got 52 mm. but okay i just wanted to check in and say tonight was good after her but it ended up being a good night um i love my mom um yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow this i had this was not a very eventful trip for her like it was last time because i was not planning a lot of things because it's not her first time in Houston anymore and also she doesn't want to I have to go by her mood so it's just best to take it as the day comes so that's what I wanted to do and that's what we've been doing and it's been fine so far so yeah I will see you guys in the morning actually let me come back so I have decided so this is the part Listen, if you're not watching, you messing out, but am I, I'm just going to do my getaway now. So if you reach this, I'm sorry, fan, friends, and family. If you know me, if you got my number, and if you're in a group chat with me, and we send reels all day on Instagram, you cannot enter. I'm sorry. But for my first giveaway for reaching 1,000 subscribers, I am going to do, I think, just like a $100. Um, I wish I could look 1,000, but I ain't got it. But I'm just gonna do a hundred dollar giveaway. I feel like everybody can use it, even though it's like tax season. Um, either if you um, oh, hopefully the hundred dollars help you out, and if you get a refund, well, you know, happy for you. But um, I was about to say, so I'm just gonna do a hundred dollar gift card. Um, I guess I can maybe do a Zello or send you a virtual gift card if you send me my, your email. I don't know the logistics. But at this point, I think to enter, I haven't really worked out the logistics, but if you want to enter the giveaway for the $100 gift card, um, make sure you like this video <laughs> and leave in the comments um, a heart, the hand hearts. Um, I like that, but leave a hand heart. Um, tell me if you've been enjoying my vlogs or what you wanna see more, um, but just make sure you leave the hand hearts. Um, in the comments with a comment or not, but you don't have to, but the main entry is leave a hand heart in your Instagram name. Um, and make sure you're following me on Instagram at I'm at I'm Morgan Ashley. And I'll pick somebody at random if you left a comment with the hand hearts. And if you left a comment, that's fine too, but you don't have to leave a comment, just leave the hand hearts. So I know you're entering and leave your Instagram um, at name and make sure you are following me on Instagram. Cause if I pick you and you're not following me on Instagram, you can win hundred dollars. So that's gonna be the giveaway. I'm just gonna announce it now. Maybe I'll put it again, another part of this video, but I figure this is probably a weird stopping point to see if you watched or not. This doesn't look like I'm doing a giveaway at this point in time if you're trying to skip over or not. So that's the giveaway, $100 gift card. Hand hearts um, in the description. I will end the last emoji in the description box is what I'm talking about. If you don't know, what I'm like it's the hand emojis. It's the hands, two hands, but making a heart, heart, the hearts. That's the emoji you need to leave in the comments. The comment, actual leaving a comment though is optional, but you have to do the hand hearts. You're at on Instagram. You have to make sure you're following me on Instagram. And I'm just gonna pick somebody at random, so. Yeah. Okay, good night, bye. Yes. To the movie? Yes. We're headed to go see Marley. It's 8.47 at night. We're gonna do anything all day. Outfit, Old Navy jumpsuit, uh, dunks, mango jacket, and I'm just wearing my Chanel bag from yesterday. My mom has on Nike sweatshirt, basically Nike with my Balenciagas, cause they hers now at this point, I guess. She thinks. Let's say hi. Hi. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
11.13. I don't think I spoke to you guys. When we got in the house yesterday from the movies, the Bar Marley movie, it was good. I give it a, give it a seven out of a 10. Um, but then, oh, we went to IPIC Theater in River Oats District. Um, I got two espresso martinis with Bailey's, which were good. She got a coffee, then for food I ordered mozzarella sticks, which are amazing at that theater. And the, that was my first time trying the steak fries. They were disgusting. I do not recommend. But the mozzarella sticks are amazing. Um, today on the agenda, not much. She went to go to her little stupid, I think it's like the Houston food plug. I don't know, for the bouillon balls with the hot Cheetos. I don't know. I can't eat that because every time I eat hot Cheetos by themselves, they give me... I'm in the bathroom, so I'm not eating any of them. Um, but she really wants to try that. So they open at 2. So hopefully we'll get there over. I don't know. I'm not waiting a long line for something I'm not eating. She can stay in the line. But um, I'm about to go to the gym. Because ever since she's been here, I've been eating. And I haven't been to the gym. And I just feel big. I, I feel big. Um, and yuck. So, and this is the last week of February, AKA it's basically March. So my February was way off. Um, so March, we got it together. It's like three months till summer. So I think it's less than three months at this point. Summer is what, June three? It's basically like three months till summer and I still have like 25, 30 pounds I wanna lose. So yeah, I need to get serious again. And yeah, I will pick you guys up. Um, I think also today after the bouillon balls, I don't know, um, maybe we'll go to a home goods to see to find me a rug. Um, there's really not much else to do. I don't know. We'll see. We'll take it how the day comes. This is the best thing you've ever had. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. She's on the outside. Well, we've been in line for an hour and a half. I hope it's worth 3.30. Got here at what? 2 o'clock. You can pay $50 to skip the line, but it's not worth it. <laughs> later we finally we finally got them did three of these little lemonades i hope they're good i'm just very very thirsty they are they did they only gave us one stop and then three of these cost 25 dollars lemonades are five dollars each this is what she had me standing in the line for for two and a half hours and just an fyi if you do want to try these i would say go later because mad people are getting there for two o'clock but they literally take a batch of orders and the woman is taking it by hand. You pay for it at the little thingy. You go sit and wait. And then that group, once your food is ready, then she go back and take it again and again. The line honestly was not that long from what it's left. It was, I feel like it's the same length. It's, it's not that long. I would have preferred to go. It's shorter now than it was when we came at two o'clock. I would go later in life because they drop them. Like I told her this, so I tried to go last week. I had a feeling. They drop them, they're fresh. They just drop them when they get the order. So, I'm not here to stick and shirt up. Mm. Is it good? And it's not real hot. My ears fucked up. Well, the Cheetos, I mean, for me, it's not being hot, but it's whatever is in the hot Cheetos, my stomach, it does not grew my stomach. Literally. Like, every time I ate hot Cheetos, my stomach. TMI, but my stomach, yeah. Mid. Now we're in Pearland. Went to one home goods. I found a rug, but I don't want to pay $3.50 for it. Now we're at another home goods in Pearland, but there's a boot barn next to it. So let's see if I can try on see some something. 
It looks cute. You look like a cowgirl. Bruh. Look. <laughs> Look. Those are nice. I like these black boots, but they're wide calf and they're a 10, and I need them a 9.5. Are they? They sound like blue, but they're black. We're back home after we left home goods at boot barn we went to tart well i went to tarjay um it was nothing fun to show you guys in the hall i put everything up but i'm back in the house i do have an amazon package to show you guys and we know me good old libra if you like it you buy it twice um and finally they came in so now for my beloved um silver pair i have a gold pair now these are the extra large ones i was saying maybe i should have got the smaller ones just for like every day but i'm extra so i would wear the extra large anyways but i like that the gold is not like goldy goldy i feel like these do not look cheap cheap but yes i got it from the same place i got my silver ones from and as you see the seller uses faux Gucci packaging because this is definitely Gucci's, um, you know, whatever. One of my Gucci boxes is this. But yeah. Um, oh, I want to show you guys me eating the bouillon ball because when I was eating it, when we got it, the lady was recording, but she hit to stop record. So it was not captured. But I need to wash my hands and then warm one up. So when I do that, I'll pick you guys back up. And for the rest of the night, it's Sunday. It's going on 8 o'clock. Nothing's going on. I'm going into the office. Back to work, unfortunately, tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to watch Tracker on Paramount+. Plus. I love that show. If you guys do not have not watched it yet, check it out. It's a new show on CBS. Paramount, whatever. I really I think it. I showed you guys them, but these are them. They were three for 25 The sauce was good. They actually have not upset my stomach, and that's been... How did I, what, 4.30, 4.45, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, a little over three hours. Someone is not upset, so I'm hoping that I'll be okay. But I'm about to attempt to try to warm this up. It's sort of still warm. Huh? It's a little warm still. But I'm going to put in the air fryer, I guess. I don't know. The two balls, the balls. Okay, warmed it up. You need to quit with these. To the people with this it's not warm enough. It's going to be warmer. Well, oh, my Well, my. Well, you going to do it Hey, where are you going? Don't turn your back on me. Hey, man. Keep wanting It's good. Hey, guys. Happy Monday. I went to work this morning i went to the office um i didn't pick up and show y'all i looked cute today too though i wore those sneakers with that little black squishy skirt and a pink shirt if you know you know that little black squishy skirt that i have but it's now later it's 7 p.m we're about to drive all the way to in and out again for her to get these burgers the flying dutchman rocked what are you supposed to how you, oh, supposed, you supposed to ask for something you're supposed to wrap a flying dutchman hole with the whole wrap hole or something like that yeah oh, you must have heard bread or i legit have a tan from standing out in the sun for two and a half hours yesterday Shut up, Morgan. look at my you, i have a tan like i you guys if you didn't know i tan like this i could be outside for two seconds and i tan as you can see this is why i look i, have, I, I legit have a tan like oh my god for standing out doing i burn so now my makeup's not gonna match and my tans take forever to go away so this pole probably be here for two months the time has come where we must bring this lady to the airport. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It was Tuesday, 12.45 p.m. We're about to leave. I finally at 3. Try to get the airport at 1.30. So we can say, toodaloo. See you later. She is putting on her shoes. 
Her Snickers. She got a little puff pants on. She is all packed up and ready to go. And I'm ready for her to go too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. There wasn't a lot going on, but we did some stuff. Say bye to the people. Bye. Cut that, Anyway. Cut that. Say bye. Bye, people. It was a nice visit. Until the next time. Might be permanent. Okay. But, okay. I'm eating prop snaps. And yeah, not much going on. I'm working, so I'll come back home to work. And my friend, my outflow just came, so I'm also not in the mood and I'm sort of sick. But I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. And if you didn't watch this full video through, you should because I announced a giveaway. So go back and watch if you haven't already. Bye.